In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Project Explorer to dynamically report the elevation and slope or grade of a Civil 3D surface at a series of predefined coordinates. In this example, we'll be using a series of Kogo points to provide us with the locations of each point. So on the screen at the moment, you'll see a tin surface and a point group, and it's the relationship between these two objects which we'll be looking at in this exercise. Firstly, we need to open the Project Explorer window from the Add-ins tab and then select the Point Groups Object category. Here you'll see a list of all the point groups in our model, and in this case there is only one, followed by a list of Kogo points from the selected point group. As I scroll across you'll see that we have pretty much every parameter shown here for every point, and many of these point parameters can be directly edited from here. In this exercise I'm only interested in the location of each point and its relationship with the surface, so I'm going to start by turning off most of the parameter columns so that I'm only left with the ones I want to review. I'm also going to rename a couple of the columns with some custom column headers which suit my own preferences for this task. The next thing to do is to select the object with which we want to compare this point group. In the drop-down list you'll see alignments, profiles and surfaces, and in this case we'll select the March model surface. Then you'll immediately see the surface grade, elevation difference and elevation columns populated with the information that we want to report. Now everything you see on screen at this point is live information from the Civil 3D model and any changes you make in Civil 3D will cause the results to dynamically be updated in Project Explorer. For example, if we move one or more points outside the area of the surface, those rows will no longer intersect with the surface geometry. Equally, if we raise or lower the surface, the elevation and elevation difference columns will be modified to reflect the new surface levels. You may want to export this information to an external file, such as a spreadsheet. But when we do this, it's crucial that we can keep the exported information in sync with our model in some way, so that design changes can easily be accommodated in the exported file. We can achieve this in Project Explorer using object sets. To place this point group into a new object set, just right-click the point group and select the appropriate option. In the object set window, we select the type of file that we want to report to, and then we define a layout style and report style to specify the layout of data columns and the styling of the report. Once the object set is defined, we can export our surface comparison to Excel with a single button press. We can now make subsequent edits to our point group or our surface and then update the exported file with the same single button press. This allows us to re-export our file repeatedly after every design change in just a few simple steps. Thank you for watching.